Dr. Darian taking a look at a new article in the Washington Post. It's asking the question, does eating too much sugar really make kids hyper? I think I could ask both of you guys this question. I'll start with you. Well, I'll start with the data, and then Eva <laughs> will come in with the parenting data, which is a little bit more accurate. But in the studies, when they look at it, a lot of this was born out of a myth from popular diets in the 1970s and the 1980s, looking at additives in food, which thankfully most of which has since then been subtracted. But that myth of sugar-causing hyperactivity has persisted, even though studies from then and now have shown that sugar does not affect a child's hyperactivity. And so it's a common myth, but it doesn't discount the risk of sugar. We should still avoid added sugar, especially for children under the age of two. There should be no added sugar in their diet. But that's Mama a direct Eva. contradiction to the anecdotal evidence. <laughs> when you give a toddler a small amount yes. of candy, specifically chocolate, I think is the worst, but the chocolate caffeine in the chocolate? That's one of the reasons why. Chocolate has caffeine in it, so it might be associated with more activity and might be the reason why your anecdotal evidence is also accurate. Yeah. <laughs> well, your kid should be able to enjoy a little candy, says the favorite uncle. It says the favorite uncle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he gives the kids the uh, candy and The one that doesn't have away. to put the kids to bed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Doc, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Of course. It.